Well, we've been getting some really good results on the uh, on the light, the 5G LED light weapons um, weapons video. Uh, Richie at Boston, actually, he had a NASA scientist look at it and obviously confirmed before he put the video out that it was in fact a weapon system. It is a weapon system because I know it. All right. That's for the silly fools who still want to try and troll. I quite like the trolling bit, by the way, so a little bit more please this time, because this one's going to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more truth telling, and you aren't going to like this one, one little bit. So try and keep on trolling, because, you know, like when you're over any target, when you're over any target, you get trolled. It's a bit like flak. So during the war, when the, Allied bombing crews knew they were over the target was when they used to start hitting or running into the flak. So if they were off target, then obviously no flak. Consequently, they knew they were over the target. So we are definitely over the target. Again, a lot of trolling. In fact, there's a number of sites being set up uh, in the UK now by the industry, which they're being trolled. They're posting this stuff and then coming on and dis trying to disprove it. Completing a, a bunch of lunatics, uh, self-serving uh, and basically fake profiles. All right, these are paid trolls, fake profiles. Anybody get into a conversation with you, check their, check their profiles and see if they're real. If they're real people, then obviously get into a conversation with them. If they're just fake, we've got no friends, etc. Recently being set up, just delete them, get rid of them. You haven't got time to talk to these people. That's what their plan is. They want to take up your time. This is the reason they've set up a number of Facebook pages, right? Stop 5G. So you've got to, you must go to the Stop 5G smart meter sites that were set up by Kathy Dowd because obviously they've got administrators who are just totally getting rid of these uh, trolls. They delete them as soon as they start a daft garbage. Uh, and their illogical uh, narrative, they're gone, all right? Because we haven't got time to engage them. We haven't got time. We've got to get this information out. It's really crucial if we want to save people, all right, from this near certain genocide that this equipment will bring to your home. But let's just do another breakdown. You'll see some of the hardware on this. It's a pretty interesting piece of kit. But the bit I want people to be aware of is this bit. All right, because that's the bit that is for the uh, for the controller. All right, for these for the transmitters. All right, so look again, some quite interesting hardware in there. Some very very interesting hardware. But look at this capacity here, and look at these capacitors, and really massive really there. All right. Massive really massive capacitors. Look at the size of those cables. And that comes out to this. Alright? So people telling me this has got anything to do with the dangerous, illegal, experimental in Breach and Nuremberg LED streetlights that are cocked up and cause significant retinal damage and harm to a person, a weapon. This is the meat and potatoes bit of the weapon. So, all right, the other bit, this is the soft kill bit. This is the really hard kill bit. All right, you can see that. Anybody who has a look in their mobile phone, your mobile phone, take the back off, three and a half volts. All right? Three and a half volts. And it can talk about 40, up to about 40 kilometers to a mast. It's not very good, but that's what they're going to do. They use an awful lot of power. But this shows the amount of power that this thing has. All right? Massive amount of power coming to this cable and then goes into this cable. All right? The delivery system for the weapon. All right. Now, just let's have a little look because a lot of people, a lot of techie guys want to see a little bit more in depth the uh the hardware and obviously i want to try and give them a little bit more information now some clown it one of the uh supposed to be a technical expert tells me that that's not 450 volt capacity that's the silver thing there well i'm going to tell you it is now why would obviously you've got a controller here that could step down the power to this so-called low power transmitter why would you step it up because that's a step up in power, not a step down in power. All right. And only a clown would even try and uh, tell you that. 
But anyway, let's just break this down. Now, Harvard Technology have admitted, as an admission, that this is a scanner. It's an environmental scanner, right? As you can see, the antenna, the weapon system, right? That's a board. That's the 868 there. There's the tags on the end. All right, that tells you what it operates at. Sub gigahertz, right? It's a sub gigahertz antenna. All right, look at the hardware. All right, I want people to focus in on, look at the capability of this. It's got a number of antennas. There's another one. And there's a board there. Very sophisticated. You'll know by looking at the back of your mobile phone, it's got quite a bit of capability. Well, not as much capability as this. Look. Look. Heavy duty. All right. Now, let's just break down the antenna because there's some clowns there who still think it's a dipole antenna. Well, they obviously don't know what a dipole antenna is, which is pretty basic. Any antenna designer or weapons expert will tell you, right, that this isn't a dipole antenna. That's what's called a high gain, all right? It's high gain for a reason, because it's, it's scanning at 180 degrees. Now, that means it works in conjunction with all the other antennas in the area. Now, we've got just in a little tiny little place called Gated. We have 31,875 of these elements. Each element is part of an array, a large scanning radar array. It's all work in conjunction with each other. They'd have to, because a 3D map in your home, illegally, it's a 3D mapping device, and the reason it operates in the sub gigahertz and 5G and its main blanket coverage is in sub gigahertz, it's because urban radar. So this is an urban radar device. The really naughty bit, you can't really see it very well here, but I do have some very, very good pictures of it. You see that little, looks like a teardrop on the end, right? Looks like a teardrop. I'll tell you what, let's just try and get it on a bit of white back paper, because that will help a little bit. Might help you uh, to be able to see it. Let's have a look. Can you see that? See that little, what's called a dew, like a dew drop. You see it? That allows me to direct the energy. It's like a lens. That is a lens. It's called a dielectric lens, right? And that allows me to focus a signal, a high gain signal, at a target. So this is the target acquiring bit, scanner. That's the shooty bit. As the FCC chairman, Wheeler, Tells everybody, all right. You see it on the end. It. It's a shame that this the 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 focus and function on this camera is not very well. It's not very good. However, that should be able to see it. Just get a good look at that. It's called a dew. All right, dielect. It's a dielectric lens, all right, and it is a directional focus and lens for the radiation. The very powerful radiation. That's going to be increased. See how they've got the two elements coming in there? So you can focus and force it up that antenna from this 450 volt capacitor. Now, the trolls aren't going to like this one, believe us, because you've got to be pretty stupid, thick, ignorant, or just basically a state sponsored troll to try and deny what I'm saying. Because unfortunately for the trolls, I am an expert. I'm an expert in this particular field, as was attested in the court of law, right, where the local authorities just haven't got a clue what this is. They haven't got a clue what it is. But I'm going to tell you, it's part of a weapon system, all right, including the LED streetlights, right, that have the diffuser taken from them so they can cause the maximum amount of harm as that doped phosphor coat wears off you emit more of the dangerous, the very, very dangerous LED light emission. So this is part of a weapon system, right? The definition of a weapon, if people don't understand what the definition of a weapon is, I suggest look into a dictionary. It will tell you it's a device that's been built to do harm. Dead straightforward, not complicated. This device is there for one reason. It's not just to scan your home illegally. That bit on the end, she had to do harm. And that's the reason why currently 
the local council are gated or removing them because this is a blatant piece of weaponry and also the reason why this company is taken into administration to bury the evidence good job we've got it <laughs>